Milan Guest was a beautiful Irish princess who escaped to Wales when her father arranged a marriage for her with a great Irishman. Milan Guest desired to remain a holy virgin for God, so she fled, being led by God across the sea. She found a secluded valley in Wales where she stayed for 15 years as a hermit before she saw another human face. The human face she then saw was that of a prince who owned the land upon which she had been residing. The prince was out on a hunt with his hounds and was chasing a hare which had run into a thorny thicket. The prince and the dogs went through the thicket to get the hare, but when they found it, it was resting under the edges of a lady's garments. The prince urged his dogs on to catch the hare, but the more he shouted, urging them on, the further the dogs retreated and, howling, fled from the little animal. Finally, the prince, altogether astonished, asked the girl how long she had lived on her own in these lands, and who she was, her place of birth and origins. Melangus told the prince everything. On hearing Melangus' story, the prince, a Christian himself, was cut to the heart and offered the lands upon which Melangus had spent the past 15 years for the service of God that they may be a perpetual asylum, refuge, and defense. Let neither king nor prince seek to be so rash or bold toward God that they presume to drag away any man or woman who has escaped here. Melangus continued in the same place as a hermit for 37 years, giving shelter and refuge not only to men and women to whom she also taught the ways of a hermit of God, but also to all manner of animals no matter what type or how wild. When entering the place or the presence of Melangus herself, they became calm and non-violent, as if they had been tame or domesticated animals. Nor by the aid of divine mercy were miracles and various other signs lacking for those who called upon her help, and the grace and favor with an inner motion of the heart. Spend a few moments simply resting. Breathe gently and slowly. 
become aware of the constant presence of God, which envelops you and permeates you. Melanges was a woman of such deep peace and the indwelling presence of God that everyone and everything that came to her rested in that peace. Through this embodiment of divine peace, Melanges expressed deep hospitality. How do you embody the peace of God? How do others perceive this peace? Does it dwell within you? What might you do to enhance both your awareness of divine peace and others' awareness of peace dwelling within you? How might you express this peace through hospitality? Spend time with God now, dwelling upon these questions. Thank you. 
May you know the deep peace of the Prince of Peace. May that peace flow through you into the lives of others. May you express that peace through hospitality without prejudice to all. Thank you.